as a brand, we have been around uh, roaring engines from day one. So from Dakar to Formula One, uh, MotoGP. Um, so racing is really in our DNA. We always want to make a statement. And for us, that's very important. Uh, but at a certain point, we wanted something more. Because I think the one thing that really pops out if you look at the, you know, the custom bike movement is passion. It's okay, why don't we, why don't we create a bike? The, the, the vibe, the, the real essence of uh, Oil in the Blood fits us perfectly. At a certain point, we just said, okay, why don't we create a custom motorcycle and a, and a timepiece? Even if people don't like it, I don't care. I already knew what Callum was, uh, was all about. We, we spoke about electric bikes a lot. Yeah, it just seemed the right way to go for it to be electric. We wanted to make the best bike possible. It's one challenge trying to win people over that it's electric. It's another trying to win them over with a completely new style. So we kind of wanted to do a design that people warm to and they, you know, they could recognize certain features that, you know, from a you know, traditional motorcycle. So yeah, we ended up speaking with Energica who were really you know, really uh, welcome to the project. And they're sort of one of the more high-end electric motorcycles. The build quality is very good. You would sort of put them in on par with Ducati or something like that. Uh, we believed in electric, that was the future. The biggest uh, challenge was to, to show people that high-performing motorcycles could have been uh, also electric. Now it's a moment where people are looking for this new technology because it's the next step. It's anyway showing to a certain kind of customer that you can have a nice bike customized as you want it, but at the same time being electric. One of the biggest uh, advantage of being a small company is flexibility. In a small companies, we want to do it, let's do it. Love to see how it will be at the end. <laughs> yeah, before we knew it, we had the Energica Eva in the workshop ready for us to start. So yeah, the Energica, it was just a nice base, you know, particularly this, you know, swing arm, the frame. By the time we'd stripped all the panels off and we've got, you know, the bare bike and we create a, you know, a nice rolling chassis, it was perfect really. Um, but with something like the Energica, we, you know, you want some good range and, and lots of power that, that, you know, that requires a lot of batteries. So behind the, you know, our fairing is, is literally like a suitcase of batteries and it was a nice challenge to have. It, it, it created some really nice shapes on the bike. By the time actually the bike did roll in the workshop, we were you know, two weeks into December, I think. That left us with seven weeks, which we knew would be really tight, but we, we made a, myself and Des, we agreed that you know, we would work seven days a week, long hours, you know, really long days, and, and we'd put the time in and make it happen and start building up from there. So our plan was to build full, full aluminium bodywork in a full fairing, sort of semi-retro style of custom. Well, obviously there has to be an idea. Uh, and I think Roland Sands also said that very well in the movie. He said, uh, you know, a custom bike is a custom bike, but there always has to be an idea. Uh, and it's the same thing with her watch. Well, it's a collision of two worlds. So we always look at, okay, so what are we thinking? What is the big idea here? So basically the son of time is the more emotional son of father time. So the son of time is there to encourage everybody to break away and cut loose. And we don't want to put people in a straitjacket. We certainly don't like it if people do that to us when we, you know, design watches and build watches. So we really wanted to create a statement timepiece to really go with the, uh, with the bike. We took a very good base model, which is our canteen model. Uh, and we customized it, basically. We made only 350 pieces. So we chose a, a very powerful uh, Swiss uh, movement, uh, the Ronda 8040, uh, and that was really the heart, you know, the heart of the watch. Yeah, and then we started to build in uh, all the various elements. So here's going to be the uh, steel case. So it's a chronograph watch. We have three chrono rings here. Here we have a big date function. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to put a leather on rubber strap. It's going to uh, combine style and comfort. So the important thing for us, I guess, in all our bikes is to make sure what's happening on at the front really ties through into the rear. You know, there's a, there's a nice flow from front to rear. Um, so those lines then flow through into the bottom of the tail uh, and also then around the, the tank shape here, the knee indents. Everything we made, it was all about slimming. Our, our techniques for building a custom tend to involve a lot of aluminium work. So, you know, we spent a lot of time um, yeah, shaping aluminium to create the fairing and tank in the tail. The, the battery casing has a, an air sort of 
vein that runs through the, the center of it. So um, there's some holes that are, that are right down the front of the battery casing. Um, so we had to make sure any fairing that we made kept those holes those holes open and um, and also the air scoops down the side of the fairing were all about just flowing some air around the around the battery and uh, the motors are all cooled so it wasn't so much an, an issue on that and there's just something nice about you know a nice shaped air scoop and uh, yeah we really enjoyed making those pieces yeah I think I think paint um, can really change the look of a bike you know we, every time we get to this stage we normally roll our bikes outside and light bounces off of you know different shapes in different ways. Yeah, colour's always a tricky one isn't it? It's, it, it can make or break a bike and um, but we felt the greys and the silvers really worked well with this project. Uh, we wanted the tank, the, the two colours we were going to split here, we wanted them kind of to be the same shade, you know from the same colour group. You know everyone seemed really enthusiastic about the bike you know with lots and lots of comments. It's, uh, it's amazing. It's really amazing. Uh, I have to say that I'm not really surprised because I know what uh, Callum is capable of. Uh, yeah, I was a bit worried that I would miss uh, that I would miss the exhaust. I don't miss it, and it's a weird thing. Uh, it looks very clean. The people loved it, so great. We we have seen that uh, uh, the approach to this kind of vehicles is uh, okay. I'll try it after they have ridden it. They come down with big smile on their face and they didn't expect it. Yeah, so yeah, this is the first time we've been out, been out on the bike and actually been able to, you know, really ride it, you know. I didn't really know what to expect, you know, I've rode a few different electric bikes, um, definitely been very impressed with them, but um, to actually have a good bit of opportunity here to be on track and sort of push it to its potential, it's been, um, I've been, you know, really, really impressed. Let's say that the biggest advantage of electric is the torque, that you have it from zero RPM, so as as soon as you open the throttle, you have 100% of torque. It doesn't have uh, gears, but I don't need them. Uh, it doesn't have a clutch, but I don't need it. I always have the perfect gear uh, for every corner, because the torque is always 100%. We have worked so much on the ride-by-wire control, so you can ride it at two or three kilometers per hour, just going side to a person walking or you can go in the mountains and go very fast. It sort of goes where you want it to go and, and does everything you want it to do really. Yeah, it's really cool and actually the electric motor puts out quite an impressive sound. Um, it's sort of got a bit of a, a jet noise to it almost. Having rode that today, I am really, really impressed with it. You know, it's just, I've had such an amazing time riding it. It's done everything it needs to do and more. So if that is the future, then it's awesome. You know, it's, um, we've got a lot to look forward to.